Hello, and here today on the Rustic Love Box, what we've been working on for about the last four or five weeks is really a cool project, a little Kawasaki Mule 2500. It's about a 1994 year model, I believe. Uh, but anyway, we took it from just a very rough, cheap, inexpensive machine and, and kind of did some upgrades on it. So let me take you over here and let's check it out. Well, we've jacked it up uh, two inches front and back and put the uh, 12 inch rims instead of the original uh, 10 inch rims. Uh, we put a 4,000 pound winch on the front, have a tree strap on it so you can wrap that around the tree and not mess up the tree or the winch cable. Uh, got some really aggressive tires on the back. Raise the bed to accommodate the replacement engine I had to put in it. And the engine that I installed was the Duramax 18 horse. Uh, it's like a, a Honda clone. I think they call those uh, larger engines like at the big block. And uh, I used several things. I used the original air intake plumbing and filter and kind of modified stuff, of course. I uh, added a choke cable for the engine so you can start it from the seat. And uh, on the other side, I'll try to get over there and see if you can see that. What we did here, we installed the, uh, I think it's a, a CVT, uh, you know, torque converter clutch, similar to, like the original. Uh, and I also added a little shaft extension because the engine shaft only sticks out about two and a half inches into this clutch and so it left me a little space I could put a shaft extension in there to run this pulley to drive the alternator. This engine does have a little generator in it but it only puts out like one and a half amps and uh, we have a lot of extra lights on this thing now and so uh, got a 60 amp alternator to supply the power for the battery. May not be the prettiest wells you'll see, but I was able to fabricate an exhaust to uh, use the original equipment muffler, and I'm glad I did because it's it's really fairly quiet. It's it's not that noisy at all, and a lot quieter than the original equipment muffler. The black box with the sticker, that's the original equipment air cleaner box, and we've got a, a K&N filter in that. Uh, I've got a deep cycle battery that has the, uh, the uh, battery post, standard battery post, and then it has the studs. And uh, I really liked having that because I was able to use the stud as a direct power supply uh, to my relays over there. You can see the relays over there on that far side that uh, power all the lights and all that and I have inline fuses to everything and uh, so anyway having that battery at that location instead of the original equipment location uh, was good. I built a bracket for that battery and so everything fit well. I was able to use the original equipment fuel pump here right here. Uh, it's relay located right here. It has a fuse on the relay and also in the power supply wire I have a fuse at the other end where it picks up power. So if you wanted to, if you had this thing parked somewhere, you could just pull this fuse and the fuel pump wouldn't operate. And so you know, it could be kind of a theft deterrent sort of a deal. Original equipment fuel tank, uh, I cleaned it out with acid etched it and then lined it. And uh, it's got a new fuel gauge in it. And uh, so anyway, the, the tank shouldn't be an issue for us. Here's a shot of the front suspension. We added these two inch lift springs and uh, 
those front springs are a lot stiffer than the original ones and it also comes with a spacer that goes on top of that strut. Um, the winch, it's a super winch, it's a 4,000 pound rated winch and using that synthetic rope in it. Uh, thought that'd be a little more user friendly and uh, if any of y'all have ever used the cable and that cable kind of lets those little wire hairs stick out if you're not wearing gloves it'll really cut you up so anyway we're gonna try this uh, synthetic rope and if not we could always put the uh, cable on it put LED driving lights on it on the down low and up high on the overhead we put uh, combination flood and uh, spot light up there and it really scatters the light up there so uh, that looked like that went pretty well this is the headache rack originally it had expanded metal and uh, we decided that uh, just making one at a little angle iron would uh, be good considered not even having one but my son he plans on uh, utilizing this and it might have a, something in the bed and don't want it sliding forward and hitting you here for backup uh, we've got just a straight uh, spotlight in the rear have it angled down and then have a brake light tail light on there just have the one in the middle and uh, that way if you got your buddy following you or something like that he knows that you're uh, braking and not going to do anything that he doesn't know about so anyway
anyway guys I'll tell you what that's what I've been up to and uh, something that I forgot to say we do have the new seat to put in it but we're gonna do some painting on it maybe this weekend uh, if not it'll be the following weekend it's whenever he can help me so anyway uh, the motor bracket I raised the motor up eight and a half inches and the little uh, plates for the bottom were 12 inches long uh, you could make them a little shorter than that you could make them 11 inches if you wanted to but I just wanted to be sure and have plenty of adjustment and uh, anyway the 12 inch base eight and a half inch riser worked well for me using that uh, Duramax 18 horse so anyway I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.